What's up everyone and welcome back to Yokai Watch. In the last episode, we began our extra story quest and that means we began the post game after we took down McCracken and the first order of business was actually going to timers and more and we upgraded our watch to rank S. So now we can catch all the strongest, all the bravest, all the toughest, slippiest and charmingest Yokai that there are because we are now rank S and that's as high as it goes. So. Today we're continuing our uh, extra shenanigans, our post-game adventures or misadventures by heading back into the yokai world because if you notice, there were actually quite a couple of little side quests that we could pick up there. But if you guys are excited for another episode of Yokai Watch, make sure to leave a like. We are going to be doing some pretty crazy stuff today, actually a lot of yokai fusion as you can see from the title, but that probably might not be till the ending of the episode. Yeah, I love getting in the elevator with Insomni. It's just so cool. I love I love it, man. Just it's just an elevator, guys. Come on. But one thing I do love is the music down here in the Yokai world. It's just so cool. I don't know why. I really like the theme for here, even though it's probably the same theme as some other areas that we've been to before, but uh, last time we actually got to explore a little bit of this place here and I was complaining about how annoying it is that you can't like run forever because this place is so long so we're actually going to use one of these items first of all um, if I can find them. I had a really tough time finding them the last time for some reason but they give you infinite stamina for a limited amount of time. It would actually be really good if you could just have like a shortcut for using this because then I wouldn't have to keep going back into the inventory to put it on. Uh, but the first place that we can check out now that we have our rank S yokai watch is right over here ladies and gentlemen because if we drop down we're gonna get to what? We're, we're back in the Hungry Pass. Oh, that's a little bit weird. I thought this would lead us to a whole new area, like maybe the Infinite Inferno, but I guess not. What are you doing here, Chick Squeak? Ain't an expel, it's the cycle of life. Repeat, repeat. Okay, you have a butt for a face, so I'm not gonna take any of your advice as far as eating goes, because that seems kind of gross, bro. Yes, I feel like you'd have to eat out of your butt, and that doesn't sound like fun. But over here, we've got an everything ramen, which is actually the best kind of ramen you can get, but aside from that, is there anything else here? Like, what, what's going on here? There's a little gingerbread house and a uh, hello, welcome, welcome. Do you like rice? Of course you do. Or are you one of those who goes against the grain and likes cake? Well, well, perhaps we should battle it out then. I'll just decide which is better, rice or cake. Prepare yourself. Oh, he wants to battle us for his rice cake? What? This is kind of weird. I'm not exactly sure. What are these people even? This is my house. At least, I wish it was. So it's actually this guy's house. Pretty good that we ended up here and actually here's one of them already because if you guys don't remember, there were quite a bunch of little yokai characters uh, hanging around here in the yokai world that we could talk to and then battle afterwards and we're actually gonna do just that today. But the first one I wanna go ahead and battle isn't that little girl over there. I kind of forgot her name, but I don't know. She's kind of weird. The one that we do wanna battle is over here. And I believe her name is Blizzara, or something like that. Blizzaria, close enough. Yoo-hoo, you there. Say, what do you think of this hair clip? Well, it's a fine hair clip, and I must say it looks splendid on you. Hehe, <laughs> I know, but I've actually got an extra hair clip here. Would you like to have it? If not, I'll probably just toss it out. That's too wasteful. Please do let us have it. I suppose it would be wasteful, but I wonder if it'll be useful to you. It's actually quite a powerful artifact. An average person can't handle it. Is that so? I wonder if we're strong enough for it. Let's try something. If you defeat me in battle, I'll let you have the hair clip. If you can beat me, you should be able to handle it. What do you think? I think yes, Blazaria. Ooh, you're a brave one. Bear in mind that I won't hold back. Talk to me again when you're ready. Snowy accessories. So these little side quests actually end up giving you the items that they're talking about. It's not like they're lying to you or anything, but they are pretty tough yokai as far as I remember. I might have, I mean, I should have definitely swapped some of mine out because I feel like wall kappa, or sorry, a pack, which is kappa backwards anyway, um, isn't doing too hot lately. But then again, the rest of our clan is, they actually took down McCracken pretty easily. They even took down in the last episode those rank S yokai for that one mission. So yeah, I think our yokai are doing pretty good. Let's bring out that Bonito blade and see how much we do. And hopefully this yokai lady, Blazaria here, doesn't actually have a, a healing ability of any kind. So here we go. Batanian's ultimate is up next. And oh my gosh, Shogunyan just actually got one shot. Like I know I say it a lot, but then again, I wasn't really paying attention, so I'm not sure if he got one shot or not. Um, but let's real quickly take this one out. Bad in the end just got destroyed as well. Not one shot though, for sure this time. Um, but I know a lot of times I say that my yokai get one shot. When they don't actually get one shot, they just like, they get two or three hits down. Wow. 
Okay, so much for that being real tough because even though she took down two, the rest of the squad managed to pick up the slack and wow, I did not realize a pack, a pack, whatever the evolution of Kappa was level 37 already. That's pretty high. Holy wow, you're so strong. With strengths like that, you can certainly handle my old hair clip. Ah oh, yes, finally with this hair clip, I'll become as cute as a... Does it matter that I don't have any hair to clip? I knew that going into this deal. No, confounded by my own shiny, beautiful bald head. Oh well, I guess we'll just give it to some other yokai. Yes, and I'll appreciate it if you give it to the yokai who's cute like me. Understood. We'll only fuse this with a yokai that is, uh, cute. And we get the glacial clip, and that is actually also the end of that request, the snowy accessory. Charlie. So yeah, I know of at least five more of these kinds of quests where you get an item, they can actually fuse with a certain yokai in order to evolve them, and so that's why today's episode is gonna be very fusion heavy, at least towards the ending of it. Oh, Komasan, no! You pulled out a piece of can, bro. Oh, that kind of sucks, but like I said, there's a whole bunch more missions to do, and the next one is actually already right over here. Now, I don't know this girl's name. I don't even know the item that she gives you or the yokai that she evolves from. But we're gonna find out. What's this? Wrinkles of shame on that lovely white skin. What? Where? Wrinkles on my taut, sleek white skin? Just there, around the eyes, small, but they hint at a wrinkle-filled future. You'll shrivel up like ancient prune. You'll be a pruny relic. No! A prune? That's awful! Who ever heard of a white prune? I don't want to see a pruny white face staring back at me in the mirror! I can see you're taking the news rather badly, but not to worry, defeat me in battle and I'll teach you an anti-aging secret, or rather, I'll give you a special beautifying item. Ah! I want it! Master, I want it! We must defeat her so I don't become the Great White Prune! I gotta get in on this anti-aging kick! You're too young to be worried about such things, but mom understands what? Dude, I don't know what any of what's going on right now is, I was legit thinking about something completely different right now. But here is Powder of Youth, the next quest. And basically, just like the Bizarria one, we're gonna end up fighting Everfor here. Yes, we're all prepped to go. All right, let the anti-aging battle commence. I don't even know what kind of yokai she's gonna bring out. Oh, it's Grumples. Wait a second. Does that mean Grumples evolves into Everfor somehow? That'd be really gross. Enemy Grumples oldness zone is in effect. All yokai now unable to dodge? What? Dude, that's actually really sick. We need that. Okay, well, maybe one day we'll be able to catch ourselves a Grumple, but for now, we're gonna go ahead and battle them instead. And what the heck? Why is my Sultimate not working? Oh, I thought it was because I was, like, uh, inspirited for a second, but then I realized it went through into effect afterwards. So that doesn't really make much sense, does it? All right, well, let's bring out the real bad boys here. It's time for a pack to show off his moves. And oh my gosh, the Golden Wisp came out. I really need to get that golden whisk. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Use it already. I ah, oh, hurry, please, APAC. Why do I keep changing your name from APAC to a pack and then back to APAC and then ah, whatever. So there goes one. Uh, the next Grumples is actually already down. So now we can go straight for Everfor. If I could even. Oh my gosh, I can't target her. Okay, might as well finish it off with Komain Sultimate. What the heck, dude? I legit can't spin these, but whatever. We took him out. We took her out. We took them out. All of them. I don't know if they're all girls. I don't know if just Everfor was. I don't even know if Everfor is a girl, to be honest. These yokai are kind of weird and deceptive, man. You guys aren't half bad. I envy your youthful exuberance. As promised, I'm handing over my ageless powder. With that powder, I'll be able to keep my precious face young and supple. But it's so simple already. Any more supple and it would be weird. I suppose it's not really your thing, is it? Perhaps another yokai then. Hmm. The anti-aging properties will appeal to an aging female yokai. No doubt someone would be happy to fuse with this item. If we can find an appropriate yokai, let's fuse it with the powder. And we're gonna get this time the ageless powder, which is gonna wrap up the quest powder of youth. Charmed. Every time Whisper is just so dang charmed, and I love it, man. I love it when Whisper is charmed, so. Here's some more experience for everybody. Um, not quite a level up, but I do really think we should go. Ooh, a wind ring, too. That's pretty cool. No, Jabadian, what the heck, dude? Why would you do that? Come on, dude. You're a cat. You gotta look both ways before you cross. 
I'm not quite sure how to actually organize these Yokai Watch episodes. It's actually pretty difficult with the post game, like being able to tell where you're supposed to go next. So I'm kind of trying to do things in my own order. You guys can actually do this all, whether like in any order that you want to. You could probably be in the Infinite Inferno right now, battling some really strong Yokai and catching more. But since I'm kind of a scaredy cat, I don't really want to go there. Instead, I'm going to go over here and into a new area. Just kidding. I'm actually back here. I forgot that I'm an idiot, guys. So this time, let's go out with the maximum stamina and make our way all the way to gate number two, which is actually where we want to drop off at uh, so that we can battle the next yokai in our list of never ending side quests that we're doing right now. Man, that is a mouthful to say. We need something better. I guess that's why I kind of try to come up with a uh, Yokai Watch Extra, but that name is just something I made up. It just means like the extra content in the game, by the way. But anyway, we have made it over to Gate Numero Dos, and over this way, I believe we should have a different area. This guy can't stop shaking, so let's find out why that is, and it's because we are now in Liar Mountain, okay? I don't really know why that would make you start shaking, buddy, but... There's actually two other yokai that we can battle down over here. I don't know exactly how tough they are, but I did actually swap out some of my own yokai, and oh, there's an item up there. How the heck do I get to that? Okay, well, doesn't matter, because over this way is, oh gosh, we're going to avoid Mr. Potato Head, first of all. He's crazy. You don't want to battle him. And then we're going to go over here, because this is where the first of those yokai is, and you might notice he has kind of a familiar face here, Wizard Blizzard. Or Blizzard Wizard. How pitiful. You must be embarrassed. Embarrassed? Are you talking to me? Oh, shiny and eggy and stark white. I'm embarrassed just looking at you. Can't you afford any clothing? You poor shiny eggy white yokai. Excuse me? Who are you calling all those things you just called me? How dare you speak ill of my smooth, beautiful form? I take pride in my curves. You sound delusional, or is this all a distraction? You scoundrel! This is a ruse! You are plotting to steal some items of clothing, you wretch! What? Never in all my years have I encountered such an insult! It's a matter of honor now! We must duel because of your infrontery! We're, uh, both hamming it up here, but you got my back, right? Oh, boy. All right, Whisper. Thank you, my most benevolent master. This guy's not too big, but I get the feeling he's tough. Let's prepare. Oh, why do I keep forgetting to go switch out my yokai? And now we battle. Come at me, bandit. You'll not win this day. I shall dispatch you. Now it's bandit? I guess that's better than wretch or eggy. This fellow is eloquent, but rude. Come to battle. Yes, indeed. Witness the power of the snow prince, you bulbous. Avoid scoundrel. I can't even say all these things that this guy is saying. He's just got way too much dialogue for me right now, but this is Chihuahua and his two little popsicles. So just like you guys might have said there or seen earlier, this is uh, Popsicles Evolution. It's a little bit obvious, isn't it, guys? But I did swap out some yokai. Uh, Auntie Heart is now in the party and Badanyan starts off the battle by getting his butt kicked. Oh my goodness. Please don't frost him. What the heck, dude? These guys are actually relentless. As I said, I already lost to them once, and it's because they actually know what they're doing. They go ahead and target the yokai that's going for their ultimate. What? Shogunyan just got one shot. Like, I know I say that a lot, but that time it actually, he actually got one shot there. That is pretty ridiculous. So, I guess we do need to have Auntie Heart out then, because Auntie Heart is kind of our healer yokai right now. So, yeah, let me go for some bitter medicine on Shogunyan and... Hopefully, she's got a good time healing him up because I really need to go for some Sultimus right now. Like, we actually need to go for some so we can take these guys out before they wreck our entire team. Me, Ice to beat ya. It's time. And wow, that's already going to take out Chihuahua. So, okay. It turns out when you actually use your Sultimus or get to use them, this battle is just a teeny be bit easier. And now we're going to go for our other Sultimus, which should probably take them both out, but... Let me see if I can get that little blue wispy before it goes away. That would be great. Come on, give me the target and... Oh, I got it. Nice. Right in the nick of time, we managed to grab up that little item there. But that's uh, Chihuahua, I guess. <laughs> that was a lot tougher than I expected. That was a lot, a whole lot tougher. So we're going to get an ice ring bonus out of it. Didn't we get that from when we battled Brizaria? Bl Blizzar? Well, I can't even say these names. Ha! Ah, you're giving me a cloak. I'll never wear it, you know? You say that, but I see gratitude in those eyes. You're glad to have it. No, I'm really not. 
You know I desire it. Just take it. It is a snowstorm cloak after all. Who's ever dons that cloak dons the power to withstand any cold. Even the coldest shivering soul can overcome frigid conditions with it. A cold shivering yokai. I think I know someone like that. Perhaps this can be used for fusion. If we find a cold shivering yokai, let's fuse it with this cloak. Ah, your mood has improved, as I knew it would, sir, poached of egg. That's, uh, seriously? Sprinkle some salt on me and I'm deal... <laughs> I am not a poached egg! Alright, at least we got the Snorestorm cloak, so now we can make a uh, Greninja or something. It kind of looks like Greninja's cloak, even though his is literally just his tongue, so I don't know what I'm talking about. But there goes that quest, insulting the egg! Yay! More experience for everybody! Dang, everyone got a level up there, which means that everyone is going to be tippy-top shaped for the next battle. They're going to have their Sultimates and HP back up. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, for the fourth time in a row. This is actually not where we want to be. So let's uh, drop this way. And I think this is now the way we want to be, at least to battle this next yokai. And I feel like he's definitely going to be one of the toughest ones that we've battled so far. Oh my gosh, I almost just fell there. But this is uh, Beelzebold. Didn't expect a human to come all the way down here. You must really think you're something special, eh? What do you say? Feel like testing your strength against me? If you can beat a bold one like me, I'll give you something nice. I just hope you're not bolder than you are mighty for your sake. An invitation to a battle from a weirdo in a mask. Sounds superb. Let's take him down a notch. Yes, we will. Amusing, but I'll cut you a little break. You go ahead and take a breather first. Get yourself ready for battle. I want a good fight out of you. Hmm. The bold Beelzebold. Well, I don't know what the heck this yokai is either. I'm assuming he evolves Timmy Devil because he kind of looks like him. So let's take a gander and find out if it is. Yep, there they are, the little Timmy Devils. Ah, it's so cool though because Popsicle was cold. You give him a cloak and then he becomes the Chihuahua, which is kind of like he's still cold because he's chill. But he's also chillin' because he's no longer cold as a popsicle. And then Timmy Devil is very timid and shy, and then you get bold to him, boldness, and boom, he becomes Beelzebold. I don't know, just the way that they make yokai and their evolutions, it's really cool to me. But anyway, let's start this right off with a nice ultimate, considering they're all blocking anyway. We might as well go for this and then, you know, see how much damage we can put out. And... Blam! Let me see. Okay, not very much, but the Timmy Devils themselves are pretty weak, so let's go for this guy's ultimate, since they look like they're fire. I don't actually know if this is a thing in uh, Yokai Watch yet or not, but I feel like it might be, like type effectiveness, so let's go for our water attack and see. Boom! Holy crap! Okay, that is definitely super effective, because that did way more damage than it would have done regularly, and oh yes, another blue wispy, I love it! Alright, this is probably going to be not very effective then, because it's a fire type attack against two fire yokai. So, I'm not sure if this mixtape is going to be quite fire, but it's at least going to take out Timmy Devil there. But yeah, it looked to me like it was not very effective. Um, so somehow Badania's ultimate is already back up. Okay, I'm not going to complain, man. Let's go for it. No, a pack is dead! Our favorite band, singer, rapper, person, a pack. Maybe that's why I keep calling him that, because of uh, Akon, a, a track, I don't know, a pack. This doesn't make any sense right now. We took down Beelzebold, though. That makes sense, right, guys? Because we are going to get ourselves another item off of this. Or at least I'm hoping for one. Mama, you are mighty indeed. But I'm not afraid. Usually, that is. But I can say right now, I am so scared. I'm shaking in my boots. Get that shot of evil out of here. Stop looking at me. Whoa. I don't know about you, but I really worked up a sweat there. Well, let's do as he asks and get out of here. That shot of evil can probably be used to fuse something interesting. Perhaps a yokai that wants to be a bit more evil. Perhaps a yokai that is very shy. Let's find a yokai like that and see if we can combine them. So obviously they're talking about Timmy Devil. Every single yokai so far has been the one that's actually with them. So there is uh, the bold Beelzebold. Bold. So let's move along uh, to the final area, or at least I think this is the final area. I also really want to use a stamina thing because look at this. This is this is impossible, guys. How am I supposed to run around on an empty stamina bar? It's just, it's not possible. I was going to say on an empty lemon, but I wasn't sure if you guys would get it because I think at least the stamina bar kind of looks like a lemon. It's kind of funny. I don't know. Does it look like a lemon to you guys? Look at it. Not really a lemon, but it's like a little, like, slices of, uh, orange or something. Like, I don't know, when you cut up an orange and it's in, like, little slices, and that's funny because that's what I call my subscribers, I know, but that's... You know what? 
let's forget about everything that I'm talking about right now and move on to the final gate number three and drop down into this area. Hopefully there is an area that we can drop down over here. And yes, there is. So into the green fog, we are now in the hooligan road. The only yokai standing in our way right now is the dragon lord himself. Are you ready? Yes, we are. We won't let you down, Draggy. Let's do this. Wow, so Whisper already spoiled it. Come on, man. Either way, it's not a huge spoiler, but yeah, this is the evolution of Draggy. Check him out and check out my burping skills as well. Oh my gosh, I don't have soul meter right now. No, drink some coffee, Shogunyan or Badanyan, whatever. I need your help right now. No matter what your name is, little yokai. So, okay, let me go for Shogunyan Sultimus as he's probably gonna die quicker. And at least Auntie Heart can somewhat heal up Benok. But this is more than likely gonna be our toughest battle yet, just because it is the Dragon Lord, the father of Draggy himself. And I just have a feeling that he's actually gonna be really tough. But um, let's go for Benox because I don't know what these things actually are, like what kind of uh, element, but. I feel like for some reason, Benok's wind attack would be super effective on them. So let's find out with Octo Snake. And no, it is definitely not. But, oh, I thought for a second we took out one of the uh, draggies there. But I guess we didn't. Whatever. Let's go for um, this guy then. I mean, dragons kind of have fire, right? So, oh my gosh, I'm drawing it right. Are you kidding me? I was drawing it right. Why was it not letting me go through with it? And holy crap. No, he's dead! He's dead! No! I don't get to go for the Sultimate because he died right beforehand. Please let me get this thing. Thank you. All right, now Shogunyan is dead too, so, hmm. Let me bring out the A game again, the A team here. Co-Main and Badanyan, who are totally going to die as well. Holy moly. I should have probably gone to the Ipo and healed up my soul meter because, yeah, we're not doing too hot right now. I mean, we are using, you know, our little fire attacks and whatever, but as far as actually doing damage, we're not we're not doing very hot, man. We do have at least Auntie Heart who can heal us up at any time, so I guess we'll go for that. Come on, Auntie Heart, give us a good old nice uh, I don't know whatever it is that you do. Oh gosh, no! Okay, you inspired her when she's already using her ultimate, so that's not too bad for us. Here we go, loving Auntie. Oh yes, that's a good one, man. That's a good one. If only it healed up our. Soul meter as well, that would be really cool, but it doesn't unfortunately, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go back to these guys and use a little bit of medicine on a pack, um, a pack, whatever. He has, hmm, he doesn't have very much HP, so as long as he doesn't get hit and we get off this soul ultimate before he does, then we'll be okay. Nice. Torrid Slash! Wow, that is super effective. What the heck? So Draggy is actually somehow considered a fire type yokai. Okay, well, I'm not gonna argue because we took down one of the toughest yokai here in the world, the, the yokai world. It's just, it was the Dragon Lord, splendid! I'm not surprised, you've trained Draggy very well. As promised, the Dragon Orb is yours. Ooh, now Draggy's hidden power will be revealed. We should go to Shoten Temple to fuse him with the Dragon Orb. I hope you'll continue to look out for young Draggy. Nice. I can't believe we actually did it, guys. We managed to take down all of the yokai down here in the yokai world, except for, of course, the Infinite Inferno, which I'm not sure if it's even down in the yokai world. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing, but we're going to head back over to the human world. And actually to Shoten Temple, because this is, of course, where we can fuse all of our yokai friends right here with Mr. Zen himself. I actually had no idea what his name was, so kind of had to make it up for a second there. But um, we got all of these really great fusion items. We got the Snowstorm Cloak, the Shard of Evil, the Glacial Clip, the Ageless Powder, and the Dragon Orb. And each of these have a certain yokai that you can actually fuse with them. So, for example, the Snowstorm Cloak goes right with Pupsicle. So let's go ahead and fuse those two. Let's get started. Here we go. Hmm. Oh. There is Chihuahua. No nickname for you though, but he looks pretty sick. I like him. I'm doing these mostly to add him to the medallion, by the way, guys, because I think they're kind of low level. They're really strong yoke. I will check him out afterwards, but um, I feel like they're going to be really low level. So I'm not sure if we're actually going to add them onto the team. But the next yokai we're going to make is another icy one. 
And it is gonna be Frostina's evolution combined with the Glacial Clip. Let's get started. Mm -hmm. oh. And we are, of course, going to make Blizzaria, another very, very awesome yokai that I've wanted to get for a while. I think is actually a rank A, if not rank S, so definitely a very strong yokai. Um, and you can only get that one glacial clip. Well, you can get some more, I'm not sure where, but I know you can get some more. Anyway, the final yokai, because we don't have Timmy Devil or uh, Shma, Shma, I don't remember what the name, Grumples? So the last one we're gonna fuse anyway is going to be Draggy with the Dragon Orb in order to make ourselves probably one of my favorite yokai in the entire game. So here we go! Hmm. Oh. Dragon Lord. Here is Dragon Lord. So awesome! Such a great yokai. I love it. And we are definitely going to be adding this guy to the team in the next episode. Because that's right, we're finally going to be heading off to the Infinite Inferno. So that is going to be the end of this episode. So thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.